So Friday's practice will be a lot easier because of what happens on Thursday. So it's, things will come up Thursday that will help you prepare for your next practice. And then things will come up Sunday at SMU that will help you next week prepare for practice. So with each game that you play, you have more information available about what you can get better at. Can you name a, a favorite moment of the decade for you? I know. Uh, that's, that's an easy question, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, 12.01 last night. That means I made it to another decade, so that was my favorite moment. Uh, um, I don't know. Looking back, there's just so many, you know, as I said, there was just so many incredible things that happened. Um, it'd be hard to pinpoint just one. Um, you know, uh, I guess, oh, excuse me, I guess I'm fortunate because a lot of coaches, and, you know, they may have one of those moments that just really stands out. It's, you know, for us, there's, you know, the moments that probably stand out the most are the the buzzer beaters at the final four and not so much the wins because they were more rare than the wins uh, so just just a lot a lot it's a lot to think about Coach, have you talked with um, Morgan Holly recently since she started her new job uh, yeah uh, yeah well, I've, I've talked to her a little bit but um, uh you know, when you're going through what she's going through, sometimes you just kind of like hunker down. And um, what do you say? You know, what do you say? Uh, that that first win is, is going to come, and that first win is going to feel amazing. Uh, she's a she's an incredibly positive person, so I don't think that. You know her outlook or her demeanor is gonna is gonna change that much. Uh, I just think when that first win does come, I think um, it's going to be a, an incredible relief and and, and and a great feeling that you you know you finally got one, and then hopefully that'll lead to a few more. But. Uh, as I said, winning is, winning is hard. Coach, I said to your, your players, I'm the future reporter sent out to cover sports this morning, so my question a little different. Uh, your message to little boys and little girls who might want to come out and check out a game, what is it you hope they experience when they see your athletes on the court? Um, you know, for kids today, you know, playing um, is, is, um, is much different than it was years ago. You know, um, you have more access to watching games, you know, but but you don't get to watch as many games live. You know? Most of most of the viewing is, is done on on TV or on some kind of device. But I think whenever you're at a game, you know, whenever you're there live and you're seeing the kids up closer and you're watching how they are, and, and you know, for for a lot of kids, you know, that's kind of where it all starts, you know. I just got something in the mail from um, somebody that their daughter was at a game when they were 10. And, um, you know, now they're in college playing basketball. And, and they talked about how that was the first game they'd ever seen and how it, it got them started to think, well, hey, I think I could do that. So it's nothing like being at a game in person, nothing like feeling the excitement <clears throat> of a live, a live game. So hopefully we'll get more of that. I asked your players if they had any New Year's resolutions they wanted <clears throat> to see from you. <clears throat> they all diplomatically said, not a thing. Yeah. Is that the right answer? No. <laughs> I don't think it is. I mean, I think there's a lot of things they like to see um, that's a little bit different. Um, just like I have a lot of resolutions that I wish they would have coming into the, the, the new year. Um, but I've never, had a, I've never had anybody make a New Year's resolution and tell me in February, <clears throat> hey, that was a great idea. I'm glad I did that. I'm still waiting for the first person to tell me that. Who's it like for you to watch the game from TV? I missed the whole first quarter, uh, which was good, looking back on it. <laughs> um, so the, the, the three quarters that I watched, um, I, I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed watching some of the things that they did. I enjoyed how they responded. Uh, 
you know, it's, it's not the easiest thing to be put in that situation, uh, especially right before Christmas. You know, your mind, your mind tends to go in a lot of different directions. <clears throat> so, um, it, it, it's kind of weird because you're sitting there and you, you can't make any adjustments, you can't make any suggestions, but it's nice to see that after a timeout or whenever there's a dead ball situation, you know, and the coaches are talking to the players, you know, and they come out and execute something, you know, makes you feel really, really good that, you know, things are in place that, you know, regardless of who's, who's on the sideline, it's going to be a certain way.